name is Mohsen Jokar, but everybody knows me as Gino, and I'm the gallery director and president of Toy Art Gallery. I started collecting designer toys back in 2007. Um, I found out about the pop surrealism uh, art genre and started investigating some of the artists from that scene. So when I came across artists such as Gary Baseman, Tim Biscuit, um, found out that they also produced designer toys and found out about companies like Kid Robot, Toy Tour, the companies that were first just coming out with the platform toys and um, that got all my attention and basically started collecting from that point on. My initial plan was to actually open up the Art Toy Museum in South Park, San Francisco where um, Instagram actually got their starts. The, the corporate offices was the space that we were considering for opening up the Art Toy Museum, but back in 2007, that's when the bank stopped lending and we couldn't raise the capital that was required. And we basically postponed that idea. And um, when we did, we started considering, you know, opening up the Toy Art Gallery and starting from very humble beginnings. Back in 2009, we opened up to our gallery. In 2011, we moved to our current location, uh, retail showroom on uh, Meadows. Our mission is to be the premier gallery for toy designers, um, contemporary artists, to feature and showcase uh, works of art that are 3D uh, toys um, from various genres like kaiju toys, toys from Asia as well as Western designer toys and artists, this genre. So each and every month we put on shows that encompasses you know, some of our favorite artists from around the world. I personally prefer uh, to have toys that are unique and original. And as far as TAG is concerned, we got into production work back in 2009. Um, I actually uh, enjoy collecting life-size toys uh, that are produced in fiberglass. And back then, in 2009, nobody out there was producing, or there was that many factories out there for us to uh, go about producing um, a life-size fiberglass figure. So it took us a, a while um, to put it all together, find the right factory and resources, but we started production work back in 2009. Um, we started with, obviously, with soft vinyl toys that we produce in Japan. I started working, the very, one of the first few toys that I produced was the Alien Argus by Mark Nagata, which I'm still very proud of producing and uh, it was a huge honor to work with Mark and he's like an ambassador to the Kaiju toy scene so he, uh, you know, I, I was fortunate enough to meet the right artists and the right people that helped bring me into the scene and introduced me to the right people in Japan and got us basically in the right placement you know, for us to be able to do what we needed to do out in Japan. So that was real helpful and that got us going out there and we've been now working consistently over the last five, six years in Japan and um, we've produced maybe 20, 30 soft vinyl toys in this period. Um, so it's been a huge honor and privilege to have the opportunity to work with Paul Kaiju, who is one of the leading artists in our scene. This is uh, the slug beard by him. He's obviously known for the Poland Kaiser, which is one of his other characters. We have, um, we also help uh, produce the Vertebrata, which was a, a collaboration between Glopis and Paul Kaiju. Um, we have also collaborated with other brands uh, in the past and um, we co-produced uh, Spongebob with Secobase. We also worked with Secobase on um, producing the Karakasa Obaki or the Tattoo Man by Hiroshi. Um, and then recently we just did the Double Think by Takira Kumuro to uh, large fanfare. Um, one of my favorite new sculpts is the Kampf Toy Works uh, Crossbone Zombie. Uh, Kampf is, in my opinion, one of the better sculptors uh, in our scene and it's again a privilege to work with him and help produce uh, some of his characters in vinyl. And then another one that we recently did was the Double Parter Mariners. Um, they won um, Emerging Artist of the Year in 2013 at the DTA Awards. 
uh, Designer Toy Awards in New York and um, at, uh, we worked with them and helped um, bring some of, their, some of their characters into the vinyl platform and um, this is um, I believe their second vinyl toy that they have, pre um, that they have put out and we helped produce the Mariner set which consists of four different characters of theirs in the soft vinyl format. And then, aside from vinyl, we also help uh, produce works in fiberglass. We do uh, works in metal. We do uh, some projects in silver, bronze, depending on the character, um, what is best suited and how, which medium is, uh, would showcase the details um, of that character best. And that's how we go about basically picking out you know, which uh, medium we choose for those characters that we help produce. We get emails daily from various artists around the world. We like to obviously give everyone their the right due time and um, we try to look for emerging artists, um, but uh, it takes time to establish yourself. You must have some sort of fan base following uh, for us to have a show and event so that your fans can obviously come out and enjoy it. Obviously our email address is the best form of getting in touch with us. You can submit your work online or email us at info at and we will uh, gladly review your work and get back with you and uh, let you know if it's a good fit for our gallery. We obviously are looking for artists that can you know, work with you know the the mediums that we specialize in: soft vinyl, metal, um, you know, uh, resin. Some of the mediums that are used for creating toys and what have you.